All right, all right. Hey guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are all doing fantastic. It's been a little while since I made a video. I know. I've been, um, I don't know. I've been not feeling the best, but I'm starting to feel better. And, uh, yeah. Now, life has been good because I got an Xbox recently. Check it out. It's an Xbox One X. This is the one I decided to go with. Um, I know they're not really even selling them in stores anymore, which is kind of interesting. I guess they went full on Series S and Series X, but... You're probably wondering why I decided to go with the One X when the Series X is out. Well, to be honest, I actually have a PC that I mainly play newer games on. And, you know, I'm not always that fond of subscriptions. So having to pay for Xbox Live to play online is kind of an annoyance or PS Plus. So it's great having a PC for those multiplayer games. Um, and also, you can just throw in a lot of storage in a PC pretty easily. Whereas with one of these, you kind of need to buy, like, some external drive. And, you know, it's a bit complicated to set up sometimes. Um, so I mainly got this console so that I could play older games. Like, I was missing, like, classic Star Wars Battlefront, actually, which is one of the games I'm having a lot of fun playing on this console. Ah! Um, like games like Call of Duty Black Ops and the Modern Warfare series. Oh man, how can you not miss that intro spawning music that makes you feel like the most badass soldier ever? We've taken the lead. Why oh, should? Why did I go with the RCXD? Dang it. I should have went with the UAV. Ooh. Dang it, stop using cheap perks like, like Last Stand. I missed a lot of those old games, and also being able to play split screen is also a really great feature of this console too. Um, and I think overall the footprint's nice, like it's a really slim console. It may be a little bit on the longer side, but like <clears throat> overall this is a great size. And it's just a lot more kind of refined in terms of shape versus the Series X, which is sort of like this big box. I literally saw it at Best Buy the other day. It was big. It was like it was like this tall and like this wide. It was a pretty interesting console, though. I just don't know how well it would fit in my TV stand. Um, so anyways, plus, yeah, like I said, I got my PC for playing more recent titles. So, you know, this is great for like for like stuff from last gen and, and older stuff because Xbox has a great backwards compatibility library that no one really talks about. Well, Microsoft does here and there, but like I don't really hear many people talking about it, but that's the great thing is there's plenty of original Xbox games and many Xbox 360 games that are available to play on this, which is great. So, you know, and I think also it's got a disk drive, which is a, which is probably my favorite part because you can buy, you know, many used games on eBay for very cheap and um, yeah, it's a great way to get the games you want for a cheaper price, you know? Um, whereas with these digital consoles these, these days, you can't even do that. You need to buy it all off the store. <clears throat> and in many cases, it can be like double or triple the price for a game off the store versus getting it, you know, used on eBay. Um, yeah, I mean, it can be a little bit of a pain putting the disc in and out, but to be honest, in my opinion, I think it's worth it um, in terms of the savings. And, and yeah, this is a very nice console, actually. Okay, the one that I got is a used one, so it's a little bit scratched on top, but overall, it's in very good condition. Plus, also, the price of these guys is very cheap now. Well, it's not cheap, but it's it's cheaper than if you were to get a new console. Like, I believe the Series X is, like, is it, like, six or 700? I think, I want to say it's, like, 700 in Canada. Um, but for this one, I paid 300 and that's before, and that, you know, that's without taxes, of course, because I was just buying it from the guy used. So, whereas if you went to the store, yeah, I'd have to spend 700 plus taxes on top of that, which would probably be like another 100 bucks. Um, yeah, so, honestly, it seemed like a no-brainer for me to get this. And I've been having tons of fun playing some classic Star Wars Battlefront and some Black Ops 1. I've been playing through the campaign. It's been really fun and really awesome. I've been really enjoying it. And um, I just realized how much I miss these old games on this thing. Um... And anyways, I can say that, I can pleasantly say that I'm very happy with this console. It's actually heavier than you would think. It's, it's, it's got heft to it. Like, you can feel the power. 
And no, it's just it's just really nice though. It's a really clean console. Definitely great for playing split screen. So basically, when I bought it, the guy gave me two controllers, and I also had two Xbox controllers because I because I play on PC. So I like I like that because I've always enjoyed split screen with my friends, and I think this brings it to a whole another level. Since I feel like on this console specifically, you know, you can play so many older games too. Whereas with the PS4, you're kind of limited to just that generation. And also, I know there's some newer PS5 games that don't even that aren't even available on the PS4 itself. So, whereas with this console, I think Microsoft is doing a fantastic job because they're also making the Series X and S games available on this console too. They might not look as good, but they can still run, um, which I think is amazing. And one thing also, um, recently I got this really cool Xbox controller that I hope to make another video on. And so this is a series, it's a series controller. And it works on the Xbox One X. Well, and it works on, I think it works on the regular one as well. Um, which is great. It just shows Microsoft's like compatibility thing. Like, you know, they got, they got older games. You can play older games from older consoles on this. And you can use newer controllers and play newer games on this console from the new, new generation. Like it's a, I think it's amazing. And I think honestly, in terms of the console and the features and like just in terms of the usability and for users like Xbox is definitely the winner, I think, over PlayStation, in my opinion. PlayStation definitely has the better exclusives, though. I would say, well, they got good exclusives um, that you can't find on here. So, you know, there's that. And I think that's the main reason why I had the PS4. But in terms of being able to play, like, a huge library of games and, and being able to play newer games as well, um, like newer games and older games, this is definitely the console to get, I would say, honestly. I love it. Honestly, it's it's great. It feels like such an upgrade. It feels like a real sequel to the Xbox 360, which was a really kick-ass console back in the day. And I kind of hope to get my hands on one because, you know, it's compatible with like a lot of OG Xbox games, whereas, you know, the library sort of got cut smaller and smaller with this one cuz they had to talk to the developers about the backwards compatibility and stuff and but they did optimize the games that they did bring, which is really nice. Like playing Star Wars Battlefront looks really clear and really, really crisp. Same with Black Ops 1. We're close to victory. Don't quit now. <gasps> I got the Huey! Huey standing by. Friendly yeah, buddy, this is what I'm talking about now. Woo. Freaking got the chopper gunner. Are the bots gonna find me? I just killed myself. Oh no! Don't try to shoot down my damn chopper. That was hilarious, I killed myself. But the bot was right there, he was about to kill me, so I would've died either way. Can we, can we launch the... Yeah! Woo! That's what I'm talking about. That was so fun. Mission accomplished, good work. I would say, you know, even though in these games, you know, the character models aren't always the best because they're older, but it's the, like, it, it runs really well and I'm really happy with it. I can also say that the console hasn't gotten too loud on me when I've been playing, which is pretty sweet. Um, I'm, I'm happy about that. All right. Hey guys, hope you guys enjoyed that really cool sort of retrospective slash first impressions of like an Xbox One X that I just got. Honestly... I didn't realize how much I miss gaming on consoles. Being able to play on the TV is really nice. And also just being able to, I don't know, check out, you know, check out these older games that I really missed because I didn't, I don't really have a console that can play it besides that one now. Um, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to be uploading those two gameplays, me playing some Star Wars Battlefront and me playing Black Ops 1. They're going to be separate videos. I'll try to link them around here once they're up, okay? All right, guys, I wanted to say thank you guys so much all for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. Also, I'm going to make a review of that controller eventually. Um, I always, I feel like whenever I say I'm going to do something, it makes it harder for me to do it. So I'm going to, so that's all I'm going to say for now. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. All right, have a great day. Cool, sharp steals out.